friends, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwas. I welcome you all in my channel, Chemistry: The Mystery of Molecules. So today we shall discuss about potassium graphite and its chemistry. We know this is a very interesting reagent. It's mainly reducing reagent. So let's learn. So if we look at this molecule, this is nothing but a kind of intercalated compound. What do I mean? Uh, okay, before go, let's learn that synthesis. So potassium when react with graphite near about 180 degree centigrade or 200 degree or 150 degree centigrade means what happened in this temperature potassium got molten means since its melting point is not that much high so it get molten and what happens this potassium goes in between the layer of graphite what do i mean by the statement if you look a little carefully these planes these are the graphite why because we know this graphite is actually a 2d material all the carbons in the graphite is sp2 hybridized means it's you may consider it's a polybenzene so consequently what happened that these all are connected all are in resonance so it's a conductive molecule i have previously discussed that this graphite molecule can act as electron reservoir so this electron reservoir means it can track electron easily it can take electron easily or it can give so whatever you can donate electron easily to graphite you can take electron easily from the graphite so in this case what we are doing see actually we are reacting potassium with graphite powder we know the potassium has a tendency to be the potassium plus plus electron because they have only one electron in the outermost valence electron valence shell and that's why they prefer to give that electron to somewhere and get the next inert gas configuration so in this case this potassium plus is produced now question where these electron will go just some time before i told that this graphite can act as a electron reservoir so in this case graphite act takes the electron and it remains in its conjugated network okay fine we understood now where the potassium will go because graphite you may consider it's a polymeric compound it's a long compound so what happens this potassium goes to the intercalated plane whatever these dots you are observing these are nothing but this potassium plus ions consequently what happened the interlayer spacing increases so interlayer spacing increases and potassium got intercalated within the system such kind of intercalated lithium species is used in lithium ion battery that's a different chemistry but similar type of phenomena you may also observe there so in this case what happened this potassium is in between the layer of the graphite and it is in the potassium plus from k plus so you may consider that potassium had given electron to graphite which actually doesn't need electron but it has the excess electron so what could be the its property we'll learn now by the way during the reaction based on the stoichiometry of this uh, potassium and graphite you can get many combination what do i mean kc8 kc24 kc38 kc 48 kc 60 they may produce depending upon the reaction condition means temperature ratio etc and in this case an interesting thing the graphite powder is actually black in nature i have also worked with graphite in my lab it's blackish but very light powder but when you uh, react this with the potassium this color changes from black to bronze happens and by the way the real example of graphite is the pencil whatever wood pencil we used in our writing drawing the nibs that those colors nib black color is from graphite okay so this is actually since this graphite is containing one electron additional electron and potassium plus because of this excess electron this gra potassium graphite solid is pyrophoric although graphite itself is not pyrophoric pyrophoric means that it spontaneously catches fire when you bring it in contact with air or moisture means it automatically ignites and i have already worked in uh, in my lab about uh, this uh, working with this pyrophoric material and whenever i have taken that material out of the glove box or you can say dry box when it came to contact with moisture it automatically ignites means fire catches this is a very interesting as well as dangerous okay so let's go so 
whatever about its chemical property is kc8 stable obviously this is moderately stable or the more accurate question is who is more stable between potassium metal or potassium graphite obviously potassium graphite why because potassium metals those alkali metals are very very reactive okay so convert since potassium is in k plus and the electron is on a conjugated network so that's why another interesting example is that if you take potassium and mix with 18 crown 6 then potassium prefers to go plus state because potassium potassium plus is highly stabilized by crown ether whereas the electron but potassium metal is not stabilized by the crown ether okay so in this case also this k plus doesn't get stability but electron gets stability why because it is in the conjugated network of this graphite and since its electron reservoir means if you pour some more electron to the reservoir means conjugated network better to say band structure the structure doesn't reflect but this color changes somewhat but it chemical property also changes what do i mean means what type of chemical properties you could expect from this reagent since this reagent in this case we know potassium plus is very less reactive or non-reactive it doesn't react because it's stable potassium plus then who is reactive this excess electron rich graphite since it is electron rich so we can expect that it can act as a reducing agent so this is reactive reducing agent okay and in many reduction in chemistry organic or inorganic chemistry this is used now let's discuss little bit about its application uh, this met for metals dispersed on graphite in organic synthesis means whatever this potassium graphite is reducing agent so if you react this uh, for example m plus cl minus and if you react this kc8 it's a reducing so what it will do it will reduce this m plus into m okay so this is the pure metal now let's read this thing little carefully that potassium graphite is easily prepared by melting potassium over graphite as i told 150 to 200 degrees centigrade under argon why see this is a electron excess in the system and we know means you may consider that is it is actually a potassium plus graphite okay and we know that air can contain moisture or oxygen etc so mainly the culprit is moisture or moisture or you can say this is nothing but water so water react and it may produce potassium hydroxide and damage the reagent so not only this for that purpose whatever argon we are using here under argon that argon should also be dried this is a special setup is made to dry gas through a column so that's a dry environment you may better to say you may consider it's a schlenk line g l e n c k schlenk setup so it is nothing but a slang setup okay fine in the second step uh, it has been used in heterogeneous reagent why heterogeneous because graphite is not soluble in organic medium so this con consequently this potassium graphite is also insoluble it's a heterogeneous and several reaction including barge type reduction alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound carboxylic in every case it's reducing agent okay so reduction of vinylic allylic uh, sulfones etc then this this potassium graphite also been exploited to prepare active metals or highly dispersed on graphite surface what do i mean see we just sometime before i told that this reaction is possible reduction of metal on metal using potassium graphite now whenever you are reducing metal means in ether solution you are doing this reaction anhydrous ether so the metal first individual metal particles are produced may um, next step subsequently they can combine and produce metal nanoparticle which will deposit on graphite because graphite is actually a 2d plane so these metal could be deposited on this 2d framework or you may consider not only nano they can produce bulk so in this way whatever we get we get graphite metal composite 
or you may consider actually low valent or zero state oxidation state of the metal why because metal got reduced now you may ask that sir why the metal will reduce if you look at the periodic table potassium is in the alkali metal series and alkali metals are strongest reducing agent so no one is more stronger reducing agent compared to them so they are able to reduce other metals into their corresponding zero state so consequently they will reduce and deposit on graphite surface and this thing could be used as a heterogeneous catalyst for others and another advantage since this potassium graphite is an heterogeneous reducing agent so after the reduction means you generally we do the reactions are in organic solvent so after the reaction chemical reaction is happening in the organic medium so we can separate the reaction mixture easily and the graphite because if you take after the reaction you take the reaction mixture do a high speed centrifuge graphite will precipitate out and whatever in the organ means supernant that's a organic solvent means solution you evaporate to dryness do work up column whatever you do so this is interesting because you can separate those material little easily because of this heterogeneous nature okay so this is the overall discussion about this interesting reducing agent that is potassium graphite i believe you have learned a lot so thanks for watching if you really enjoy my teaching please help my channel to grow thank you again stay happy stay blessed see you in my next video bye bye